Daniel Olivier. Um, I'm winemaker and part owner in Two Lads Winery. Uh, my partner in the business is Chris Baliga. Something that really sets us apart from a lot of other wineries uh, within the state, uh, you know, within the Midwest in general, I would say is kind of a very almost energetic, perhaps idiotically youthful attitude that we have here. Everything starts in the vineyard. We want to be focusing on sustainable agricultural practices. And so Cornell uh, is a minimalist in the vineyard when it comes to chemical and synthetic inputs and really tries to be a naturalist. That helps us to produce really high quality fruit and also really high quality wines. That's obviously paramount to any great wine. It's like cooking or creating anything. You're only as good as the ingredients from which you start. Our vines are anything from 11 to uh, 5 years old. We are a 22 acre farm and currently we are in full production. A small winery, about 5,000 cases. In most cool climate regions, people like to focus more on the white varietals. But here at Two Lads, we are focusing more on our red grape varietals, the Pinot Noir and the Cabernet Franc. Cornell and I really said, you know, there are all these great white wines, but the few red wines that are created in a cool climate can be very attractive, they can be very pretty, very delicate and soft, and we really wanted to focus on that. So here at Two Lads, we have six cool climate varietals that we grow on the farm. Chardonnay, Pinot Gris, Riesling, Cabernet Franc, Pinot Noir, and Merlot. Our focus is just on those six varietals and one specialty product, which is a sparkling Pinot Grigio. Here at Two Lads, we're trying to produce wines that are ultra premium in quality and, and spectacular and striking in their own right through uh, a minimalist approach in the vineyard to old fashioned farming that isn't relying on synthetics or chemical inputs, just um, kind of the best of both worlds of innovative good winemaking in the cellar and old fashioned uh, sustainable farming in the vineyard.